Hello! Today we're going to have a look at this CBF 1000. This one is a loan bike from the insurance company. My GSX 1000, unfortunately, uh, some young lady shunted me into a roundabout. Not a very pleasant experience, but there you go. So the insurance company gave me this bike. When I first got it, wasn't that impressed when I first seen it, but I've grown to like it. So, obviously it's a Honda, so it's bomb proof. Uh, the one that they gave me first was a 2015. Uh, I had nearly 10,000 miles on the clock, and there'd be 10,000 hard miles because it's a high bike. Uh, and it was faultless. The only problem we had was that some Muppet had not done the pre-checks properly and sent it out, it had too much engine oil in. Being a Honda, it didn't bother it too much, it just continued regardless. Then they sent me the 2018 model, which is this one. Uh, I can't see any difference between the 2015 and 2018 whatsoever. Uh, it's very, very easy to ride. It's very comfortable. Uh, it's not as much fun as the GSX. In fact, I go as far as to say it was a little bit boring. But it's like your loyal Labrador. It does everything you want it to do. This bike, like I say, it is a good all-rounder, I think is what Honda have aimed it as. Uh, it handles pretty well considering for what it is. It, it's, I haven't pushed it to be brutally honest, but it feels nice when you're sweeping through bends and whatnot. So yeah, I've enjoyed it so far. In fact, I've enjoyed it so much, I would even consider buying the GT version, which has the panniers in the back, and having one of these just for touring, and keeping the GSX just for mucking a mouth on. Uh, although they are bomb proof, this one has been a rattle somewhere down here, which I can't figure out where it's coming from. I'll just go back in the next couple of days, I'm not really that bothered, I'll let somebody else worry about that. But apart from this little rattle, which is something or nothing, I'm sure, they are absolutely bomb proof. Styling. Uh, don't mind the front too much, but the rest of the bike, I wouldn't say it was massively pretty. But we'll uh, give you a run round now and you can have a look for yourselves. So you've got the adjustable screen. Some of the reviews say they like it electrical, but if you can't move it by hand while you're moving, then or when you need to pull over and stop or whatever, it's not really a big issue for me. You've got clocks, 